President Trump has done in going his his spreading of racism, the way he deals with with yes. with people based on the color of their skin, their national origin, where they're from, is absolutely sickening. Yes. No sitting president has ever done this. Never, never, never. No Republican president has done this. No Democratic president. We have racist, and they've existed, and they've tried to get elected president. He's the first one that has. And the way he pits people against one another is all designed to divide the country, divide people, not pulling them together. And what you're doing, what you're doing is you're allowing families to be able to stay together because they're able to make a living because you are able to be there taking care of either their elderly parent and or, and, and or their child. And what I'm doing is I'm going to spend a lot of money and it will be returned significantly by eliminating some of these fancy tax cuts the super wealthy people have gotten to make sure you and your co-workers and others get paid and people are able to go back to work. That, that family you're helping out, if you didn't show up, they wouldn't be able to go to work. And so you're going to put them back to work. But we're going to also put a lot more care workers to work. We're going to bring more people in with you to make sure that you are able to continue to provide the services that in many cases are life and death for people. It's gigantic what you're doing. And so don't ever run yourself down based on you're from South Korea or anywhere else. Let me tell you something. The reason we're so strong as a nation because we are a nation of immigrants. That's why we are strong. No, I really mean it. I'm not just trying to be nice. It's the God's truth. Because what people don't understand, as I said once to a world leader, the reason why we do so well is we're the most unique nation in the world. As a nation of immigrants, we've been able to pick the best from every single culture. Because it take, took courage 40 years ago for your family to pick up and move. It took courage for my great-grandfather to get on a coffin ship in the Irish Sea to come to the United States of America. It took courage optimism, determination. That's why we're who we are. So don't let anybody convince you you are not American in every single way. It's an idea. We're an idea. It's not based on an ethnicity or a race. I'm sorry to get so worked up about it, but it makes me so angry when I find that people based on the color of their skin or their national origin are somehow viewed in a different way. And look what he's doing now. He's blaming everything on, 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 on China. He's blaming everything on the Chinese. He's blaming everything. On, and people don't make a distinction. As you well know, when a South Korean and, a, and someone from Beijing, they make no distinction. It's Asia. And that's the way he, and he's just using it as a wedge. If he had moved when he should have moved, when we knew about this, Columbia School of, uh, in, in New York pointed out there'd be 57,000 more people alive today if we moved just two weeks earlier. He's trying to shift the blame. You deserve and we love it when blame. you get you angry, Mr. Vice President. And Soup is as angry as you are. We really appreciate it.